How's it going YouTube? My name is Optima and today we're going to be reacting to the brand new champion in Legends of Runeterra that was revealed today who is Gnosis. And actually you guys will probably get this video the day after it was revealed so sorry about that. But anyways, let's react to Gnosis. Um, I did already watch this video once. I'm not someone who could really contain themselves with that stuff but also I'm not huge on initial reactions. I think once you at least get a little bit of time to just think about stuff you can actually provide a little bit better insight and a little bit better commentary to reacting to them but that's just my opinion if you guys do prefer right away initial reactions then sorry probably not the guy for that but if you somehow do still enjoy this video i appreciate you for even watching in the first place but also if you want to throw some support leaving a like subscribing and also leaving a comment all that stuff really helps especially because i'm just getting this channel underway i'm not you new to youtube but this is a new channel that i'm starting over with and um yeah, I'm excited to hopefully make my way in the Legends of Runeterra community. So if you feel like supporting me, if you're a huge fan of Legends of Runeterra, there'll be a ton of content coming your way on this channel, especially as soon as we get this new expansion on March 3rd. And March 3rd, there is a little bit of a kind of boring dull moment right now for people who aren't still in the seasonal or even or even at least played in the seasonal like myself. Um, it's kind of a little dull right now in Legends of Runeterra. So that's why videos I only have like one video on my channel, excluding this one. But things are on the way, especially with a new... Uh, uh, expansion on the way just loads of content i couldn't be more excited to get that started um so yeah if you want to join me for that if you want to be part of the optimal living lifestyle uh check check me out throw a sub and uh check out some of my videos when uh they do go live i also stream you can find a link to that in the comment section below oh no i'm sorry i just hit my mic that was probably so loud for you guys but yes i also stream you can find a link to my uh twitch channel in the comment section below if you want to support me over there that would also mean a lot because things are just getting underway over there and i do stream more than just legend of Terror. i stream pokemon and uh actually see a thieves over there so if you want to come be a pirate with me that would be fun um, but mainly Legends of Runeterra that is the game I'm trying to focus most of my content on because I have a lot of faith in this game um, and I want to be a part of uh, its rise because I think it I think it should happen but we'll see um, but yeah let's uh let's get to this reveal I know that that's what you guys came here for um, but last thing you can also check out the the uh, description of this video if you want to also check out my discord it's kind of in a rough place need a make it more professional but if you want to be a part of it come check it out we'll get there eventually all, all good things take time you know but let's get to Gnosis I'm so excited for this I'm someone who doesn't come with a League of Legends background so these champions when I generally see them it's my first experience with them I know a few League of Legends champions but it still was so bare bones how much I got into League of Legends that most of everything feels new to me in Legends of Runeterra what still makes everything so much fun so yeah let's hop into it so Gnosis demands the ultimate what the ultimate what the ultimate sacrifice okay so anyways we get a brand new keyword here we get slay as a brand new keyword and slay is you get credit for slaying an ally or enemy if one of your cards kills it via damage strike or direct kill effect so that sounds pretty good to me that sounds really really solid um yeah um, I, I think because you can slay your own units that gives you a lot of freedom and exactly how you can help Gnosis get this level up or at least get the plus one plus one from the slay that gives you a lot of variety in that it sounds really good with Shadow Isles right off the bat that's the immediate thing that came in my mind was like oh my god last breath Shadow Isle units and Shark Chariot would love that um, so yeah I like the idea of that um, obviously though it seems like most of all of these uh, Shurima champions are going to want to play the Sun Disc because that's the card that's pretty much seems it needs to be used to allow them to level up the third time to get to that final level of Ascendant. Um, um, so yeah, uh, that card you can only draw on turn one if you have an all Shurima deck. So that's where a little bit of my concern comes is like, am I going to really be hindering the quality of these Shurima champions if I don't run an all Shurima deck because I'm not drawing then the Sun Disk on turn one? I'm not sure yet. That's going to determine a lot of how I feel about these cards, but um, on face value, this seems pretty solid. Um, it is a six drop though with two two stats, so it means Hush is this card's worst nightmare, or any card that deletes um, text. Yeah, it's just its worst nightmare. So here we're gonna get the Bakai Reaper. That card gets plus one each time a unit is slain, so you can get that up to a pretty good level. Um, and yeah, seems like a staple card to go with Gnosis. So here they're going to attack. He's currently a nine nine, uh, and then he gained more because I gained more actually. 
Wait, why did he actually... Why did he gain more attack? I'm a little confused by that. Why did he gain more attack from attacking that? Oh, because units were slain. Oh, those two units died, and then, yes, I'm sorry. I'm not paying attention here. Yes, units were slain. So, he was just over there getting attack. So, you always want to attack with... It seems like you almost always want to attack when Nasus last, so he can see everything that's slain, if anything's going to get slain before him. Um, now we get this card, though, and this is apparently his champion uh, spell. And that's going to be Sip Hong... Sip Honing Shrike and Sip Honing Shrike's really good. It costs a decent bit, but I still think it could be pretty good. Just because even if, um, even if you're using this, you're not getting it off in the perfect situation for Gnosis. The fact that if you just kill a unit that's getting Shrike tier, that the all champions get plus two plus two. That's so good for so many champions. Um, that's really good and can be really game uh, breaking. So I like this card a lot, and the the cost seems seems adequate to how good it can be um i feel like it may feel over underwhelming in a decent bit of situations but it seems also like it could be really good in an ideal situation there though they did use that card they strike the tom kinch oh we needed to pause so they use that card the sip honing strike they strike the tom kinch they it died so they they get the level up because they're striking with 10 but then they also get the plus two plus two because it died all champions will get plus two plus two now we get the first level of ascendant gnosis now it still has the plus one plus one for each card that's slain but now also each enemy is going to have minus one so it's going to allow fearsome to become a little bit more um crucial and it gets spell shield that's honestly the biggest of me because the fact it gets spell shield spell shield on champions Spell shield on champions is anything and everything. Champions getting spell shield is so, so good because champions already have inherent skills that allow them to do really good things in the game. And then they generally have another keyword. So then when you add that spell shield on it, they just are able to do so much. And having to waste a card to get rid of the spell shield, you can generally waste such a strong card. So it's just really, really nice. Um, wait, does that put roaches on them? Oh, uh, that puts those little fly things on them. Oh, I hate the way that looks. It almost looks like little roaches. I hate the way that looks. Um, but they get to attack with an extremely strong unit now. It also has spell shield. Um, and then now the sun disc has finished off the countdown 25. So, oh, the, even that animation is so clean of the sun disc on your side. That's so clean. I didn't even notice that the first time I watched. That is so clean. Let's look at that again. That is so clean, bro. The way the sun disc pulls up for your nexus when you when you count it down oh my god oh my god i'm gonna love this i'm going to love this that's ah, beautiful but all right we do see that final level of ascending for gnosis and now we got the plus one plus one but now it's a minus three and that becomes super crucial with fearsome and yeah that just sounds so good for renekton um so i can definitely see these two being used together um because that seems really really good for renekton in my opinion everything that gnosis does seems good for renekton and then the fact that gnosis is doing all this kind of messing up your opponent's uh strength on their board um um while having spell shield as soon as it's leveled up so um yeah it makes it even harder to like get it off the field and not allow it to be giving everything minus one or giving everything minus three once it's fully ascendant um so yeah it seems pretty good there's some really good cards that allow you to level up and ascend it like all level two ascendants are now level three like there's some good cards for that so it makes me think that this card should be able to be viable because of the support cards that these ascendant champions seem to have uh, or these ascend champions seem to have um I love the idea of this with Shadow Isles, but I think that it may honestly be at its best in a Renekton all Sharima deck, just because I feel like it works so well with Renekton, and then um, as a champion, it works better with Shadow Isles as followers, but Renekton as a champion, um, and then but then when you also count in that you want that Sun Disk, and the Sun Disk having an all Sharima deck means you get it on turn one, that's pretty big, that's a pretty big deal, you really want that card counting down as early as possible so you can get it done with all 25 as soon as possible because all these Sharima cards are so much better once they that level three ascend is very game changing, it's very very game changing, um, and especially like 
Gnosis level three of sin and having that spell shield, that's so good for him because yeah, the the hush is very bad on it in its initial form. Like hush is so bad for Gnosis as a six two two. He's literally crying if a hush comes his way. Um but as soon as he starts to level up, it gets a it, he gets that spell shield. So then it's two hushes, and I don't care if you're spending two hushes on something. That's the if a card's forcing you to feel like you actually want to do that, that's a good card because it's it's doing enough to where you're spending so much resources on it, so much mana on it. So yeah, I'm liking what I see um, from Gnosis. I love that it gets spell shield. I think spell shield is so 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 good. Um, and yeah, just being able to get it without having to evoke into the Targeting card, I can't think of what it's called right now, but the one that gives you minus, the plus two in defense and spell shield. Um, not having to invoke into that and being able to level up into spell shield is just so good. Just inherently get it. Um, and yeah, I love I love the synergy I'm seeing with Renekton. I wish it was a little bit better, but it seems good. I would love it more with Shadow Isles. I really got excited at first for Shadow Isles, but I'm thinking I may lean more towards the, Sh the all Sharima Sun Disc, get it turn one deck. We'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, I feel like the viability of these cards will be heavily dependent on how easy it is to get that third level of um, Ascendment. And if it's broken, then obviously we'll see a change. But I would love for these cards to be a little broken rather than for them to suck. I think it's easier to nerf a card than it is to buff it. But it is easy to make a minor buff that actually nerfs a card heavily. So I guess we'll see what ends up happening. Right now, I'm seeing this card as pretty good, especially because of the spell shield. I see it as pretty good. Not, not like meta changing but pretty good as of this exact moment definitely looks better than renekton on face value to me um and yeah i'm just excited to to see this card in action once we could get it on march 3rd um but yeah this version r be very careful what you do with this version if you're playing against targon because hush is very scary towards this version of um gnosis um the, then we can go to the level two or the first level of ascendant. Where are we? He gets it somewhere over here because yeah, he gets rid of that. Let's actually look at that animation one more time. Let's look at that one more time. The there we go. So beautiful. That's so beautiful. And there we go. Uh, and yeah, here, yeah, still so vulnerable to Hush. It's just that last time when you get that last level where Hush isn't as scary. Because yeah, this card is still just begging to be Hush. Which, it, it, it's obvious they did that to nerf, one, the how many cards get slain. Like, it needs to have bad stats, but also because it also has Spell Shield. So, if you somehow are able to, to get that card Hushed, yeah, it needs to be, uh, it needs to do something. But yeah, once you reach this level, then it doesn't matter at all. So yeah, that's where just a lot of this is going to be determined. Can we level up these Sharima cards easily or consistently to this third level of Ascendant? If we can, they're going to be broken. These decks are going to be crazy. If not, I have a little concern, especially with cards like Renekton that really have to be engaging in combat, um, in my opinion, to really be leveling up. Um, but his spell allows Renekton to not as much have to engage in combat, and that's where I just see such good synergy with uh, um, Gnosis and Renekton. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see what exactly ends up working. I think this card looks pretty good. I'm excited for it. This is definitely going to probably be the card I first build the deck with, then maybe the Lissandra card but uh yeah we'll have to see but Gnosis is looking pretty scary and pretty fun to use upcoming in Legends of Retire. I have so much faith in this game they just do so much right thank you so much right I feel blessed thank you guys for watching once again if you want to show me some extra love if you enjoyed my commentary this video if you want to see more content from me make sure to go down in the description um I mean make sure to go down and subscribe hit the little bell so you can get the notification and then go down in the description if you want to follow me over on Twitch for more uh, live content and then you can also check out the discord if you want to just chill kick back have some conversations with me maybe even play some games with me because i love to hang out with people who support me and who are chill people but anyways this is optima i'm gonna be signing out thank you guys for your time i hope you guys are as excited as i am for this sharima expansion yeah things are getting exciting and lots of content's on the way let's let's uh let's make some let's make some fun moments let's have some good times with these new cards i can't wait for all the fun we're about to have but yeah peace out